Well, when we talk about common factors in counseling, uh, terminology such as therapeutic alliance, empathy, consensus building towards goal planning, goal setting, um, collaborating. Um, what I would say is that my experience in working within the South Asian community and being a South Asian myself is our community tends to be more focused on action oriented language. And I saw that really uh, prevalently in my work in the, within the South Asian community on early childhood. And I'll explain that further. Uh, when I was working with uh, parents with young children and explaining to them, um, here's what the brain science tells us, here's the opportunities to help shape a child's, child's life trajectory by understanding the developmental milestones they go through in the early years and then how that impacts them in, uh, as they hit school and adolescence and adulthood. Most common, I received two kinds of responses. One was, um, this is great early years, but this is the fun years, so we're not going to worry about any challenges with children um, until they hit the teenage years. And so I saw that in order to um, engage with parents of young children who currently were not facing problems of childhood, teenage years typically, um, they were less motivated to understand what brain science was telling us because it wasn't problematic yet. And so how I would frame, well, it's, it's important to pay attention to these key skills when they're two years old, for example, such as learning to tie your shoelaces and picking up uh, your toys and, and listening to cues and, and for a parent to understand the cues, but for a child to understand here's their kind of the routine in our household. Um, that those milestones become really critical because if you don't pay attention to them now, here's how they then become problematized um, in adolescence. And I, and I saw that that's when parents would kind of perk their ears and say, oh, okay, this connection from two years to 16 years really makes sense. And so what I saw strongly was it was taking that prevention approach um, that engagement approach and and helping to show where the problems could arise if we didn't put, pay attention to it early on. And it, it really showed me, and my clinical work had showed me as well, how action-oriented typically a South Asian community can be. You, yeah. you, you give the family a problem, or sorry, an action plan for the problem, and you'll get more buy-in and incentive in that alliance and that engagement. But if you were to talk a lot in those early meetings that we typically take two to three meetings to develop that goal plan, that alliance, set goals. Unless you're using action-oriented language, you might not engage as um, strongly with your client because they might think, well, this counselor is simply going to spend a lot of time talking about history and family systems, um, but I have a problem today that needs addressing. Right. Now, that's not unlike other non-South Asian clients, right. but in this community, I saw it um, much, I think it was stronger um, than I've seen it with other clients. And so I learned to be more solution focused in my language and um, building bridges between why we're taking this information now and what the purpose of it is in terms of problem resolution. Right. And making that very explicit. Yes. So would you consider this approach to be more directive or collaborative and action oriented? Where would you, what would you say? I would say it's probably directive and, and then action oriented, but that equals collaborative in this community. Yeah. Right. Yes. Because the counselor has authority as seen by most clients and, and the typical reaction is the authority should be helping you and guiding you as opposed to our client-centric approach, which is, well, how do you frame your problem and what do you think your solutions are? That, in many experiences, I would see, would almost feel disrespectful to the client, yes. right? Yes. Their view was, well, I'm coming here to you, the authority, the educated authority, the government-funded authority, all right? So that whole notion of government resources as well um, right. plays a factor into that. So I'm coming to you as a government entity funded you know, expert, knowledgeable to help me. So let's get on the path. So you almost need to become directive and action oriented first in order to become coll more collaborative over the period of your counseling relationship. That's great. Okay. Thank you, Dell. 